emphasis that Islam is a complete system. And this completeness is um, further asserted through that it is a closed system. That is, it is a self-sufficient system. That's, that's what closed system means. And the third, it is the only civilization. Because outside Islam, it's only Jahiliya. And within Jahiliya, if there are good traditions, that's because they are the distortion of Islam present, present in that Jahiliya before it overtook and corrupted it. So, uh, in pre-Islamic Arab Jahili tradition, although Islam rejects the Jahiliya, it can still find good traditions because uh, it recognizes that those traditions are descended from uh, the true followers of Ismail al-Islam. That's why in every society, uh, the task for uh, Muslim uh, social engineering is to see the positive traditions which uh, are still existent in that society, which are possibly descended from the traditions of the Prophet and relate Islamic way of life to those traditions to make Islam natural in the society. But that doesn't contradict the fact that Islam is a complete system and is a closed system and it's the only civilization. It doesn't recognize any, any other civilization because if you worship, uh, uh, if you don't worship God and worship someone else, either false God or your own nafs, then the society and civilization based on uh, that false worship is not a civilization, it really. Um, in that sense, Islam is the only true civilization in the Deen and the Lail Islam. Um, so these, these are three important uh, elements of Muhammad al-Madudi's thought, um, which he, you know, uh, took from uh, Imam Waliullah and then developed these thoughts um, in his own writings, um, according to the language of his day. Okay, I think we'll stop here and we'll continue this. Uh,